Hello there, David Taylor on Mr. Pelagonium, back with another video for my own channel, I do have to say. It's getting quite frequent now, which is always good. Um, now, I have got, as everybody knows, this Sophie Dumares standard, which is a real big boy. Now, you can actually see here um, that I've got a lot of long laterals, and this is the problem with growing a very long jointed plant as a standard. It can become a little bit of a problem. Uh, but I've got a lot of dead and dying leaves coming out the top. I've been feeding it fairly regularly, like I have all of my plants. Uh, but one of the problems that I think I've almost certainly got with this, because this hasn't been repotted in at least two years, I reckon this has got quite extensive mealybug. Now, the other thing, because it is very, very long jointed and because I have got very limited room, I may actually dispose of this plant uh, because it, it's not growing brilliantly well. Um, it's in a very big pot right down here. You can see that down around there uh, but we'll take it outside and have a look um, just to see what it's like I'm going to tap it out the pot if it is badly uh, mealy bugged I will almost certainly dispose of it uh, because there's one of the problems when you grow long jointed plants as a standard is that obviously here that's a flower bud so I've got let me just refocus this is a, a long jointed um sort of node we've got a flower bud that obviously broken off there got a sort of leaf joint there which is half-heartedly coming through but the very long joints mean that nothing can happen here because that's a flower break occasionally you may get a nodal uh, stem break coming out of a flower joint not often in sort of basic zonal type plants um in dwarfs, you can sometimes get it. You can get nodal breaks out the other side of a uh, of a flower break. But in general, you can see at the absolute minimum, I have got here a very long joint. And it, it's not going to make a very well-shaped plant this now, really, as a, as a tall standard. Now, the good thing is, you can see I've got two youngsters here. So I've got plenty of backup there for it which is good so I'm going to take this outside and see how it goes with the root ball right okay you got me in live action mode now um, let's just focus on I'm just going to tap this out I was going to try and do it one handy but it just didn't work at all uh, that's quite frustrating. What I'm going to do is actually lie it down, and knock it out the other way. Just lie it down slightly. Push the base through because it's a clay pot. I can actually push through from the base. There we go. That's better. Clean that. Coming now, and I've just slide it out. It's actually, ugh, that's a mess. Um, believe it or not, it actually isn't that bad, I don't think, strangely. But I've just about given that a kiss of death anyway, really. <laughs> that was interesting. I expected that to be really, really pot bound, but um, it's actually not bad at all. There's virtually little or no mealy bug in there whatsoever, which is surprising. Maybe a little bit at the base, I'll obviously sweep all this mess up. But I was actually quite surprised because the plant itself was actually not growing that well, to be quite honest, in the initial instance. Um, the wheat the, the root ball on it was quite weak as well, as you could see from pulling that through. Um, so I'm quite surprised on that. But it, I don't think there was in any mealy bug on there whatsoever. 
Well, I do have to say, if I have some so Sophie Domaresques behind me here as I film this, uh, that was a really interesting experience. A um, couple of things to note. Um, I mean, I, I am just getting so short of room in here, and that was, it was going to produce quite a misshapen head, very long jointed, uh, wasn't easy to control, but I was shocked, really. Um, that was a plant that was repotted nearly two years ago. It was June 21. Um, and there was not a speck of mealybug in that um, pot whatsoever. Absolutely shocked, really. So inconsistent. This is one of the problems with uh, living in an area with mealybug. You just do not know what plants have got it and what plants haven't. And that's the, the longest I have gone without seeing, seeing any mealybug in a root ball, uh, a plant nearly um, potted two years ago. So that was unusual. Uh, I mean, the other interesting thing is it seemed to have a very shallow root ball as well, which was, for me, quite unusual because that was a four-year-old plant um, uh, that have just been repotted into that big pot, big bell pot, big clay bell pot. Um, and I was really surprised, having been in there two years, that that sort of wasn't pot bound at all. Um, so it's quite an unusual one, that one. Uh, but I wasn't really happy with the shape of the head. Uh, it was very long jointed. It was quite slow growing as well, getting away, which you could argue all tricolours are at this time of year. Uh, but I, you know, because we're having this cold spring, I mean, tonight they're forecasting that it's going to be below freezing point, uh, which is, you know, is chronically difficult at this time of year when my greenhouse is packed. Um, so for all of those reasons, I have uh, disposed of that plant, unfortunately, um, because it was just getting too big, misshapen the head. I was convinced to have mealybug, uh, but it didn't turn out to have. Um, but I've got a bit more room now to manoeuvre some of my other standards here. Um, so that's just about it for this one. Just a, a quick sort of look at me having to make decisions about what I retain and what I don't retain um, at this sort of stage in spring. So uh, it's good to see you again and I'll hopefully see you again very soon. Bye bye for now.